Um, honestly, I don't know how to explain myself. Um, this is this game is called Find Love or Die Trying. This is a dating sim game that I found on Steam. Um, I'm done. I'm gonna lower this real quick because I'm kind of worried that that's gonna be a little bit copyright. Not hundred percent sure, but just for you guys, just to hear me slightly, just to explain. Found this on Steam. Thought it'd be kind of interesting to play. Uh, decided to live stream it. So hope you guys enjoy. Episode one pilot. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so we have all of our saves loads. Let's save. <laughs> all right. You're the star. Of the Wait, we're okay. So we're breaking the fourth wall now. <laughs> you can't just sleep through it. Can I? Can't I? Can I not just sleep through it? Here we go. Okay. And ow. <laughs> Immediately gets back. What's oh hello? Ow. Okay. Well, obviously right off the bat, love hurts. That is confirmed. <laughs> mm, I'm pretty sure that was you. <laughs> well, <laughs> what, the, what kind of game am I playing? <laughs> Ow. Why? Oh, I'm back to sleeping again. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. This is exactly where I want it to be. I like it here. Ow. Okay. Right off the bed, I get smacked three times in a row. <laughs> oh, and I can't remember my own name. Oh my god, I have amnesias now. God, I got hit smacked three times in the head. Wow, that 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 was really bad. <laughs> by the way, I'm not putting in these sound effects, by the way. <laughs> the premise is that you, the suitor, are living with five beautiful women, and one of them is your soulmate. I haven't even met them yet. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm with the, I'm with myself right now. I haven't even met them. How would you know one of them is my soulmate? Yeah, how? How? Hmm? Hmm? You don't even know what my preferences are. Then on the seventh day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you at the final ser- What is this- what is that one show called? There's like a re- there is a reality TV show that does something similar- that does something exactly like this. Where like, the suitor hangs out, goes out and dates with like, uh, potential uh, potential significant others and then throughout the entire series they could go through all these conflicts and all that and then finally at the end of the season they finally choose one someone please tell me tell me the name of that I can't remember it but I I know I know it was a reality show something like that uh, if she says no well we're going ahead <laughs> This reality TV is dark. <laughs> They're gonna kill me if she says no. Wait. <laughs> you're joking. Yeah, you're, you're. Oh, he has. This guy has teeth. Why does he. He has sharp teeth. Is he. I'm the CEO of Royal Black. Really going on the black name, aren't you? The black last name, aren't you? The biggest network for battle royale games on the planet. So this world has battle royales, okay? So apparently there's like some kind of hunger game going on in this world. Fart dreams and bake cakes out of rainbows. That's where you come in. And hey, it's not a bad deal. Yes, it is. It's either I get a girl or I just die. This is literally, this is literally hooking up with a with a chick with your significant with a significant other to the next level. My God. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that backfield camera's missing. Well, that's my cue. The intern ain't gonna shoot himself. Um, um, what? <laughs> okay, this world is way more effed up than I expected. What the hell? Most people would be a little happier to hear that they're alone in paradise. <clears throat> Most people would. 
single people would if they were if they were gonna live together with potential soulmates if the if the little description of you are gonna die wasn't in there if that if you didn't say anything about that i i think people it would be safe it would be nice it would be great right well, I sure hope you haven't forgotten how to talk to girls. Um, that is not having to be forgotten. That is something I never had in the first place. I could talk to a lot of people, but I mostly talk like I'm just trying to make friends and not girlfriends or not a significant other. Uh, there's only one thing left to do. Survive. <laughs> Hello, is anybody? Oh, hi. It's me, Yui, Yui Fushikawa. Yeah, I hope you know that doesn't... Whenever someone tells me they know me from the past, it's worse because I just awkwardly just smile and just try to play along like I still remember them. Uh, eventually I do remember them, it's just the one thing that I hate is that I can't remember names. It hurts me so much every single time that happens. <clears throat> you can't let your student council president? Um, yes, you, your, your status as student council president would be nice if you were still in high school. That doesn't work here. <clears throat> She has some kind of embarrassing past that she does not want me to remember. That is, that is the face of someone who does not want to bring back their dark past. Feels just like when we used to fool around back then. Wait, if she was part of the student council, if she was the student council president, was I part of that group then? Questions. Oh, fool around in like a family friendly sort of way. What did I do at high school? What in the hell did I do at high school? That you have to say, fool around in like a family friendly sort of way. Thank you, from Yui. That, that does not, you shouldn't have said that because now I want to know why specific. We all know, we all know probably. We, we're all adults here, we all probably know. And just like that, she just she just peaced out. She's just like, peace. I'm gonna I gotta go clean real quick. <laughs> What's up, dude? Do you know what happened to the internet? Oh God, we have no Wi-Fi, guys. We have no Wi-Fi. What kind of game show is this without no Wi-Fi? You okay? Tell my followers they were the best. All right, all you Terra followers out there, she wants it. She wants you guys all to know that you guys were the best for her. <laughs> I like that. I like that emoji. The emoji thing. They're doing that for you. You're just... By the way, this whole show about. Wait, you don't know? Kind of regarding pretty much everything to do with this show. You. Pretty much what you expect from any generic dating TV shows. And my name is Ultimo. I'm what Cat calls the suitor. Huh. So it's like a visual novel dating sim game, except I'm stuck in it rather than getting to play it myself. That is the perfect way to describe the scenario. Yes. Yeah, that is a good way to explain it. Look at World's Terra's coming. <laughs> And she's always, she, and she always wins. And she left the room, did she? Yep. Oh, she looks high class right here. She looks really high class. Red hair is so, she, okay, like with the red hair and the silver eye, my head is immediately going to Ruby from the show Ruby. Very, very, very hard to distinguish which one I'm talking about, huh? Your head a bit to the side. You can see another book hidden behind the magazine. 
A slash B testing after the apocalypse, first edition by DB. A zombie apocalypse? A zombie. The apocalypse is diseased. Okay. Another celebrity? I can't even. It's almost like they're. This. This. The. I don't even need to hear the voice acting to know this just sounds so forced from her. I'm Scarlet. By the way, you're Ultima, correct? Yes, I am. It's me. It's nice to meet you, Scarlet. Don't. Why, why are you giving me this look, Scarlet? Curious, so what are you actually reading? I thought you'd never ask. I. Here, let me show you. Scarlet dropped the magazine and the book behind it on the floor, revealing a second magazine in her hands. Ah. Wow, okay. Um, we found- I think we found our Cindere. I think we have our high, high class Cindere here. I knew we should have just worked it out. <laughs> Since I'm taking so long on the meatballs, perhaps we'll use your meatballs instead. Uh, just kidding though, upon further thought, you'd never need them anyway, so- Yo, what the f- Violet, wow. I do hope you are worthy of being the suitor. You'll find that courting a lady is a different sport than the other girls. Why do I feel like she is gonna be the most pain in the rear to get? Those blue eyes are really attractive. Like that's the in that's instantly where my eyes went to, followed by the blonde caps. She'll see definitely the tomboy type. Um, sure, sure that sounds. All right, let's go. Okay, wow, not even seconds. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her. At pregnant. <laughs> wow. Um. Hey, this is kind of dangerous to drag someone up. I gained more and more speed and watched as Ali slowly fell behind. Wow, you're running even faster than my dad did when he left. Uh... What? The... You do not say that to a random stranger that you suddenly just challenged to do a race with. Or I guess just jog with. That would... I'm sorry, that was distract me so bad, I would trip over my own foot and just face plant onto the ground and just break my glasses. Just, oh my god. I have so many mixed thoughts about this now. Oh, I'm so stumpy. I killed him. She's crazy. It's time to pick your first soulmate candidate, one of two lovely ladies you'll get to spend the time with this week. So without further ado, who's it going to be? Wait, I have... I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready to choose yet. Like, I just got to know them. Why are you, why are you, why are you giving me this face here right now? Come on. Okay, hold on. I need to... I need, hold on. Hold on, I'm, I'm phoning a friend. I'm phoning a friend. Hey. -o. Hey. Hey, everybody. This is uh, this is a companion. His name is Dishmarsh. Dishmarsh, say hi to my stream. Hello, stream. <laughs> okay. So, if you're wondering what I'm having trouble with, let me screen share it with you. This is what I'm, this is the situation I'm in right now. So, if you need to know, I'm playing a dating sim game on my live stream for the first time, and right now I'm giving the choice of one of these five girls to have to spend some alone time with just to get them to know better, like a talk. So, this mm. girl right here, her name is Yui. Uh, from I don't see your mouse. Oh, yeah, I don't see your mouse. Oh.
so that's that's the five girls right now that's that's the best description i could give them and right now my head is trying to figure out who do i want to go with for the first day we have seven days we have seven days to choose one mm. and right now like i am having so much trouble of trying to choose one you pick one well it's either you could help me pick one or you could try to debate me into pick me picking one because right now like i'm leaning kind of towards on the green haired one because she's a gamer i'm a gamer i like to play games so it would be nice to like have someone to play games with all the time especially yeah but um, the thing is the thing is you gotta remember she's she's a gamer and so and she, you said yourself that she's in it to win it the question is will that will that will you be able to influence her to not only just be in it for, to win it but to realize that you also like truly want to get in a relationship and also she's a live streamer i forgot to mention that part but <laughs> okay okay yeah but still but still yeah like that's the thing it's just like i feel like i would just want to hang out with her because she's a gamer nothing more than that <laughs> And then like there's uh there's also the high school friend and it's just like and that's like that's a problem for me because like the moment I know like you're a high school friend of mine, I will have such a hard time trying to trying to get see you more than a friend after that. Because I'm so used to just having you as a friend throughout my high school year. Unless if like what you're telling me of what we did as a family friendly thing as messing around with something more than that, then maybe. But at the same time, it's just like, do I really? <laughs> my, okay, so I think my two choices, if I get a chance, my two girls that I'm going to choose is going to be Scarlet and Terra. I'm gonna hope All to right. God that Yui is not a Yandere and just comes to kill me. <laughs> that would be terrifying, so, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose Scarlet. Um I don't like how this music is a bit morbid. <laughs> So, she experimented with some of the local fauna on the island earlier. There's really nothing like it. It's really incredible, and I messed up my intro with you earlier. Honestly, I'm okay with how you intro. That was okay. Like, I got to see a little bit more about, I guess you could say, quirky side. I made a new chemical compound that causes amnesia. Oh. Well, here's the thing. My char the character that I'm playing, he already has amnesia. He can't remember who he is other than his name. Oh. <laughs> so, the cool thing is applying just the right amount to a person can make them forget specific things. Who they oh. are, how to write. That's not disturbing at all. That's definitely not disturbing whatsoever. The bad thing is... Ah, why? Why did I get smacked? Slower mid to door as I almost jumped up from the surprise. Wait, is that one of the employees? <laughs> Give me brains and bananas? Applying too much turns people into rabid monkeys. <laughs> Applying too... When did we... When did we suddenly go into a zombie apocalypse? We'll get you the bananas, just don't have the brain. You can't have the brains. With a white powered covering. You blasted for you blasted him with a white powder covering his face. Please tell me that's not cocaine <laughs> or drugs. Ooh. Please tell me that's not what I think it is. He flailed wildly for a few kids that fell to the ground unconscious. Ooh. What was that white powder? What was that? What was that? Uh, let's just say forcing all the. <laughs> hmm. She just made him snort meth. Mm. How did this even? 
happened? Well, it all started with her little experiment, which now that I look at her design, kind of gives me the Resident Evil f design now. <clears throat> I heard from Tara that you lost your memories, and I, I wanted to see if I could... Oh, that's that's actually nice of you. That's actually nice of you, helping me try to lose my lost memories by making a cocktail that causes amnesia and uh, and turning somebody into a ruthless, a savage monkey zombie. I watch her build a machine that she insists can turn them back to normal, but looking at it, I can't help but be a little skeptical. All right. Huh. They're coming right at us. Nothing to worry about. The, you tell me not to worry about it? I'm gonna worry. What? <laughs> That's a gun! <laughs> What's the... Not quite the first thing you expected. Uh, no! No! I did not expect that. I tried to, I'm trying to keep my voice down because it's really late at night. Like, really, really late at night. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. What, the, what the? What is going on? What? Call out to me when in a dream. Probably can't hear me in there, but I tried to respond, but no words come out. Also, promise me one thing. Don't forget. Don't you dare forget. You promised. Promised are unbreakable, right? That's what you told me. You promised, but you lied, didn't you? What is. Oh, uh, Yui? <sighs> okay, so Scarlet is definitely is now out. So I'm now with. with Ally, Terra, Violet, and Huey. <clears throat> right now, I want to know what was all about, what was up with that dream a promise. Didn't Yui say, mention something about me forgetting about something? So... I'm starting to get scared of Yui right now. I did say I was gonna choose Terra. I'm just really scared of what Yui's gonna do. I really hope it's not another Doki Doki Literal Club. Though lately it's been a little boring. Why is that? It's just same old, same old, you know? Though I do have something new in store if you're down. Sure, I'm down. I'm down for anything. Good. I'm just gonna need you to put on this non suspicious at all headset. You could really take that part away and just say, just put on this headset. It was just like lightning ran through my head. Ow. Did she. Did she put a nerve gear on my head? Hey, can you guys hear me? Hi. <clears throat> What's up? Like out of the game right now, if you're in the game too long, it'll fry your brain. That explains the shock. How much time do we have? Before it fries your brain? I don't know. Maybe a few minutes, maybe several hours, but it'll slowly sap your sanity the longer you're there. I should not be in here. <clears throat> you guys can see long admin. I think it's an admin only kind of thing. If you can't see it, turn around that come on, lock us out already. She haggled like a beep. Oh no. Tara! <laughs> Something tells me that she didn't have much sanity to sap in the first place. But it'd be such a shame to leave so soon. 
Oh no. It's just so happy that as an admin, I can change all of your avatars at will. Check this out. Bam! What'd you do? Like that demands which had now become tiny little white wings. I look down at my face and I have a beak. Oh no. I... You tried to be here to a bird. I think I'm... Five? <laughs> Five. She <laughs> can't go again like a wicked witch. <laughs> Welcome to Pigeon Dating Sim Battle Royale. You'll have to seduce me if you want to get out of here. I'm screwed. On my one, the pigeons, fi the pigeons five fired pickup lines after pickup lines are tear up and to no avail. Come on, move those wings like you I tried my hands out a few too, but it was clear that they had no effect. Can't imagine that being a pigeon helped with it anyway. Hmm, let's try one more. How about... Damn, damn girl, you're a hoot. Damn girl, you're looking so fly. Damn girl, you're more addicting than quack. What is up with these puns? Oh. I'm gonna go with a quack. With, all, with my will to live in and all my time low, I. The game went dark. Wait, what? What? Back. What happened? How? Four, God damn it. Uh, just when it was getting five. Five. Come on, man. What happened? My mind's all foggy. You okay, Tara? I'm gonna take a nap. That would be a for talking about this. Yeah. Yeah. 